Hey guys, how's it going out there? So, last week's video, I had a great comment come in from Sean who fishes on Kentucky Lake. And Sean was asking about being able to see brush piles in, in a soft bottom on Kentucky Lake. He was really struggling with that. And his question was, should he go ahead and upgrade to a 56 transducer? Um, which is going to give you more hertz, finer image. Um, and I, I honestly don't have one. When I went to the 54 UHD transducer, uh, it did make a big difference. The images got a lot sharper, but I really can't answer about the 56. So if you can, Sean, I hope you're going to watch this video too. Uh, guys, leave a comment in the bottom. Let's get a discussion going on that. But what I have noticed in the past is your colors make a difference. Um, I have this, <laughs> I won't call it a conspiracy theory, but I believe that the reason that we all have favorite colors is because of the way our brain processes what our eyes see in the light spectrum. So if that makes any sense, uh, what I see as red, I'm looking at my red UTV over here. What I see as red, your brain is what I see as blue, if that makes any sense. In other words, it's all about how you process it. So I like, like my back, my back screen, I like a midnight blue for my side scan. I like a crawfish orange for my down view or my down scan. Um, so everybody's different. You may you need to play with these colors to get it dialed in to how you want it, not how anybody else wants it, how you want it. So I think this video is going to be informative. Stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Hey guys let's talk color schemes for a minute so i'm going to go ahead and go to number four shortcut key for me and it is important to set those shortcut keys up where i have my side imaging on top and my down imaging on the bottom now i went ahead and changed that up i used to have my side imaging on the bottom but i wanted to put it up on top so let's take a look at the side image and We'll go to menu, we'll go to sonar setup, and we'll go to color scheme. So from here, we have several different options. And kind of an odd one, but I use it once in a while as this uh, actually inverse gray. I kind of like that. It shows up for me and my eyes. I can see the shadows pretty good in that. Uh, the gray for me is kind of nice too it's you know got the white background uh red shad uh, i don't like that but there again there may be some bottom contours soft bottoms hard bottoms where this is going to come in real handy um orange doesn't particularly thrill me either but let's take a look at orange because that looks a little dim to me and let's play with the brightness a little bit now, see, as I brighten that up, and that's fully bright. Now, to, to me, that's not too bad, but I'm not seeing good shadows, so I don't particularly like that. Let's go back to menu, sonar setup, color scheme, and take a look. Now, amber is kind of an old steadfast. Let me turn that brightness back down. See where we like that. See there, I'm starting to see some pretty good shadows and you might pick up a fish, you know, that's hiding back behind the rocks and whatnot. Um, we don't have a lot of brush piles, so sorry I can't help out with that a whole lot. But again, let's go to menu, sonar setup, color scheme, and look at say black emerald. 
Um, that's not a bad color. I like this midnight blue and I tend to use that midnight blue more than more than any of them right now. That and this orange crawfish. I like that color as well. But there again, that's me. Well, let's take a look at the down imaging. So if you take a look, when I got my split screen, now I got them both on the crawfish orange, but you can change this. There's your down view or your clear view. So let's take a look at that. Let's go to menu, sonar setup, and color scheme. And if you notice, the buttons aren't always in the same position depending on which screen you're in. So from there, you have all the same, all the same options. There's your amber. And let's go to that inverse gray. Now to me in the down view, I don't like the inverse gray as well. I have trouble seeing that and the gray. Let's take a look at the gray at a different brightness. Let's go ahead and raise that brightness up a little bit. And if you notice I'm raising the brightness, it actually makes the background darker. So I, I get confused on that once in a while. But I, for me, I still might have a little trouble with that, but it looks a lot better. All right, let's go menu, sonar setup, color scheme. See what that looks like in that red shad. Now here, the red shad actually doesn't look nearly as bad. So that might be a good option for you. But guys, you gotta gotta play with these uh, with these colors. But they will, depending on the bottom contour, they will uh, change depending on uh, what you're looking at. If it's a bluebird sky and you're looking down at your screen, you may want to change those colors. So anyway, I think that's a pretty good tip for this week. And appreciate the comments, guys. Thank you. Keep them coming. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Let's get out on the water and have a great day.